Hello, in this video, we are gonna discuss how much cash you need in order to get through the process of buying a home. Your goal is to have roughly $10,000 put away. However, if you're a VA loan buyer, you don't need any down payment. So having around $5,000 cash is a pretty good idea. So let's jump into how much money you need, honey. You know, up here for, at beginning before closing, you go under contract. Now, within three days of going under contract to purchase a home, you need to deposit the escrow deposit, also known as a good faith deposit. What this means is a part of the money is put into an escrow deposit so the seller knows that you're serious about buying the home. Seller takes the home off the market with you being the presum presumed buyer. It's roughly 1% of the sales price. Um, if it's a $300,000 home, you can expect to put about $3,000 down. Now this is negotiable. Believe you me, I am gonna start much lower than that. And if the seller asks for more, we will handle that when it happens. Number two, your home inspections, roughly $300 to $600. This is due within, it says five days of a contract. But what happens is once you go under contract, we schedule your inspections. When the inspection happens before the report is released to you, you just need to pay the bill. So you do that online, you do it over the phone, not a problem, but in your first week, you can expect to have to pay for your home inspections. Now the, uh, the appraisal, $500 due within 10 days of a signed contract. This isn't always the case. Most of the times your appraisal would be paid as a closing cost. However, if time is of the essence and we need to expedite and order an appraisal as soon as possible, there may be a fee incurred early. Moving costs. This isn't a necessary cost, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It sounds easy to say, oh, I've got some friends who are going to help me move. You know, my buddy has a truck. Jeff, he's our realtor. I know he owns a truck. He's going to help us. Wrong. I'm not. Um, I'm out of the moving business. Your friends are probably out of the moving business. And just listen, um, for around $500 investment, you know, the movers, I like to use bull moving, they're going to come over, they're going to take all your belongings, put it on a truck, they're going to drive it to your new house, they're going to put everything out, it's well worth the cost. Um, you know, mention Jeff Niptuck or mention Sunday Real Estate, they'll hook you up over there. Now, at closing, this is roughly 30 to 45 days after signing the contract. The money that you're gonna have, is gonna be broke down into two um, layers. You're gonna have the down payment. If it's a VA loan, it's zero. If it's an FHA loan, three and a half percent, a conventional loan is up to 20%. So if you buy a $300,000 home with a VH, FHA loan, uh, about 10,500 you're gonna need in addition to the closing costs. I say that in jest because a lot of people would say, why well, didn't I know I had a closing cost and a down payment? So your closing costs, uh, it varies based on the price of the home, typically one to 2% of the purchase price. These are items like your prepaid insurance, your prepaid taxes for the year. There's fees for your title. There's fees for the loan. Um, you know, there's the $400 closing fee that I'm charging you a closing because I'm paying for a professional cleaning before you move in, right? So example, a $300,000 home, maybe about $6,000 in closing costs. So let's say we look at this entire $300,000 house. If you're using an FHA loan, you can expect to pay around $15,000 out of pocket. There's a lot more involved in this, but this is just a nice broad uh, approach to it. If you got any questions, let me know.